At least 40 people have been killed in protests in Khartoum since last month's military takeover. Sudanese security forces fired tear gas at protesters in central Khartoum on Tuesday. The demonstration was the latest expression of resistance to military rule since last month's overthrow, which ended the collaboration between the civilians and military groups. However, following international denunciation in mass protests, Al Burhan reinstated Hamdok in a deal that was criticized by the country's pro democracy movement, which was opposed to the military's involvement in politics. The Burhan Hamdok agreement, on the other hand, was encouraged by the United Nations, African Union, Western countries, along with Saudi Arabia and Egypt, which has close ties with Sudan's military. Hamdok asserted that he had partnered with the military to stop the fighting and not to waste the gains of the last two years. General Mohamed Hamdan de Gallo, the deputy head of Sudan's Governance Sovereign Council, claimed that the deaths during protests are being investigated, blaming police and armed forces.